Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we're going to talk about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Intro So if you guys have been following my channel, you might already know that I am all into smaller but capable camera gear that packs a lot of punch for example my mirrorless camera system is micro folders they are smaller they are lighter they are very capable and today i want to talk about the dji osmo pocket 3 which i think is also a small but very capable camera the dji osmo pocket 3 is a small video camera with a built-in gimbal and also a fixed lens so this is perfect for like recording vlogs and also for recording b-rolls because with that gimbal you can really get smooth stable footage i bought the dji osmo pocket 3 as an upgrade to my older dji pocket 2 this little guy right here especially for recording pov photography vlogs i use it a lot recently you can check out some sample footage right here i will put the playlist on the card above the dji pocket 2 i think is not a bad camera at all i think it is still perfect even in today's standard i think it is still relevant however the osmo pocket now features a one inch sensor a much bigger sensor compared to the one over 1.7 inch sensor on the pocket 2 and that means i got a really significant jump in terms of image quality with the dji osmo pocket and that changes a lot of things that significant jump of image quality enables me to use this camera not only for vlogging but also for recording talking head videos like what i'm doing right now so this camera almost replaces my good old panasonic lumix g85 for talking head video camera in fact you are looking at me right now through the dji osmo pocket 3 i'm recording this video right now using the dji osmo pocket 3 did you know that this really blows my mind so now in this video i want to share to you my thoughts and my experience after using the dji osmo pocket 3 for more than three months for recording vlogs for recording talking head videos for traveling this is all my real life experience and hopefully you can learn from them and you can decide whether this is the right camera for you or not first let's talk about my usual setup with the dji osmo pocket 3. i want to first begin by saying that i bought this dji osmo pocket 3 as a creator combo so that i can get an access to the wireless microphone that i'm currently using right now together with my shotgun microphone the rode video mic go 2. that wireless microphone really enables me to record audio smoothly easily quickly conveniently <laughs> all that good stuff because when i'm doing vlogs i have to be really quick it's a run and gun situation and by having the wireless microphone i can just turn it on and be ready to record audio for my vlogs beautifully with a great sound quality and for talking head video right now i can just connect it to my shotgun microphone and i don't have to deal with weird setups with long cables that kind of stuff it just makes my life easier so when i'm vlogging or when i'm out and about with my dji osmo pocket 3 i will usually carry some accessories with me to complete the whole osmo pocket 3 setup first accessories is this sling bag right here this is the alpaca bravo sling mini version 2 you can check out the review up here but this is basically the sling bag that i use to carry my osmo pocket 3 together with my micro Fortis cameras and some lenses and one little neat trick with this bag is that it has this magnetic buckle right here for the strap this is magnetic and the wireless microphone of the osmo pocket 3 is also magnetic so i can just put the microphone right here and have the microphone closer to my mouth to get that better audio quality when i'm recording my vlogs so right now the footage is coming from the dji osmo pocket 3 and the audio is coming from the wireless microphone clipped onto my polo shirt so how is the audio quality i do a little bit of post processing nothing much so hopefully this is still a natural representation of the actual sound quality please let me know 
Next accessories is this little clamp rig right here. Basically, the first part of this rig is this clamp right here that has this ball head system and a uh, GoPro mounting system. And then the second part is this GoPro adapter to quarter inch 20 thread. And then the third part is the extension handle that comes with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 creator combo. So I can just clamp this into the strap of my sling bag and then I can just attach the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 right here quickly and be able to detach it easily as well for that POV vlog footage that you usually see on my vlogs. For talking head videos like this, the setup is actually much simpler. It's just a simple tabletop tripod from Ulanzi. And then on top of that, I attach the battery extension that comes with the creator combo. And then on top of that is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. With this whole rig, I can get the Osmo Pocket 3 to be the perfect height for recording talking head videos using my studio table. And then for the audio, I just attach the wireless microphone to the uh, Rode Video Mic Go 2 on a boom pole to get that much better audio. For the video settings itself inside the camera, it's actually very simple. I just use the normal color profile, the standard one, and I just tweaked it a little bit a sharpness minus two. Other than that, I will either record in 1080p or 4K 25 frames per second. Speaking of the color profile, I know that this camera also has low color profile, this and that, so many advanced video features. However, I just love the standard normal color profile that comes with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because it already looked great. Just don't forget to add that minus two sharpness to get a more natural pleasing kind of look and it's already really great out of the camera you don't really have to color grade it you can save a lot of time just by using the normal color profile speaking of great looking footage i just want to re-emphasize that with the one inch sensor inside the dji osmo pocket 3 you can now get footage that looks so much better compared to the footage that are coming out from the DJI Pocket 2. Everything is just sharper, more detailed. It has better low light performance. It has more dynamic range and also it has more background blur. What I want to say is that the footage is coming out from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 almost look like they are coming out from bigger mirrorless camera and that's just wow. So amazing. Now I can just go on and on and on about the image quality of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because it is really that good. But now let's move on to something else. I wanna talk about performance. First, autofocus. Continuous autofocus with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is really great in my opinion. Not that the continuous autofocus of the DJI Pocket 2 is bad. It is also really good. But the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I think, took it to a whole another level. For vlogging, when everything is run and gun, I don't want to worry about my autofocus setting and the continuous autofocus of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 proves to be very reliable for vlogging scenarios. For talking head scenario like what I'm doing right now, the continuous autofocus also works really well and I love the fact that I can do what they call product showcase so I can just bring up my camera or my lens really close to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and it will track the focus on this object, not on me. So that's very important because sometimes I want to show my camera or my lens and being able to just do that instantly without having to worry about autofocus setting is really something that I really enjoy. The Osmo Pocket 3 also has this tracking feature with the gimbal movement. So when I'm moving around, when I'm vlogging, or when I'm photographing something, I can just track my camera or myself and the gimbal will start to follow whatever I'm asking it to do. And yeah, it's very useful. It is definitely much better than the tracking capabilities of the DJI Pocket 2. But I think there are still room for improvement because sometimes when I'm vlogging, it failed to track on my camera. Battery life. Well, I never have any issue with my older DJI Pocket 2. It can just survive a whole day of vlogging as long as I'm not overdoing it. 
And with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I think it is almost the same story. I never really ran out of battery. And even if I do, I have the battery extension handle and I can also charge the Osmo Pocket 3 via USB-C using my charger or using my portable power bank. Now let's quickly talk about the screen. The screen on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is actually significantly bigger than the screen on the DJI Pocket 2, which is almost the same size as my stuff. It's ridiculously small. With the bigger screen, I can now easily compose, I can check the focus, I can easily see what happened in the frame and it's just so much better to use in general. And I just love it. Changing settings is also not as finicky as on the DJI Pocket 2 because with the larger screen, the buttons are also larger. I can easily change shutter speed and ISO, white balance, that kind of stuff. I can go into the settings and change the frame rate easily. Uh, and it's just really nice to use in my opinion. I also want to mention that as of right now, there are already two major firmware updates for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and that significantly improves the usability of the camera. And that's what I really love from DJI. Ever since I started to use the original DJI Osmo Pocket and then when I moved on to the DJI Pocket 2 and then when I moved on to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, all of them have great, great firmware updates that really significantly improves the usability of the camera. And they're not really holding it back. Unlike some of the uh, other camera companies, they really hold back on the firmware updates because they don't want to eat the sales on their flagship cameras and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about. But with the DJI, they're really generous and I think that's the right thing to do. Don't hold back your camera if it can be fixed using firmware update then just use firmware update to fix it. Don't force the customers to buy another new camera just because you don't want to lose money <laughs> or that kind of stuff. Now that I've shared all the things that I love that I really like from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, it's only fair for me to say the things that I don't like from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. First of all, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is not what I call a hybrid camera. This is just a video camera. It's not meant to replace your whole mirrorless system camera. That is because this camera only has one single 20 millimeter lens fixed onto it. You cannot replace the lens unlike on micro focus camera system or full frame camera system like on Sony or APS-C like Fujifilm, Canon, Nikon, whatsoever. You are stuck with that single lens and you cannot really change the focal length. Of course, you can do digital zoom like what I'm doing right now, but if you're overdoing it, you can lose some image quality, some details, some sharpness. So if you're planning to be really versatile and flexible, I think you still have to invest on a proper camera or on a mirrorless camera system with a few lenses. The next reason is although this camera features a really nice one inch sensor that's really great for video, actually when it comes to photography, when you switch to photo mode using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, the photo quality actually is just really so-so. I think you can just skip the photo mode entirely and just use your smartphone camera for photography or use a proper mirrorless camera system once again. Next reason is because of the interface. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is mostly touchscreen interface based. So anything that you have to do, you have to do it on the screen. You have to touch all the buttons on the screen to change manual exposure settings, shutter speed, ISO white balance, picture profile, and whatnot. Unlike regular camera like this guy right here, you can just use buttons and dials to change settings. Not that there's anything wrong with touchscreen interface, but it's just not as fast, as tactile, and as quick as using proper dials and buttons on a dedicated camera. Another thing that I don't really like from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is that when you first want to activate the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, you have to use the DJI Mimo app on your phone and you have to download it from like a website, not from the Play Store or from the Apple Store or whatever is on your phone. And that's a little bit finicky and it takes a long time and it's just not as practical as just turning on the camera and start shooting. 
Now, before we end this video, I just want to mention a couple of points. First, I just want to say that even though there are some things that I don't like from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, all of those negative points are really insignificant in my opinion because this is still a hell of a camera. I had a lot of fun whenever I had a chance to use the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This camera has been really helpful for me, especially for recording vlogs and talking head videos. And I will continue to use this camera for a very long time. Again, I just wanna say that this camera is heading on the right direction and I'm really excited for the future of the DJI Osmo Pocket series. I hope in the future, the DJI Osmo Pocket 4, the predecessor to this guy right here, will start to feature micro footed sensor that will be crazy that will be a step on the right direction and i will be really interested in that type of camera to start replacing my micro footed camera with a built-in gimbal camera like this one and that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that this video helped you to learn more about the dji osmo pocket 3 especially from my experience and my real life usage please comment down below what is your favorite video camera that you use a lot also if you have any question about this video please comment down below as well don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and if you want to support my channel further consider using the affiliate links in the description below or use the super thanks button thank you and see you on the next video goodbye